You can have dreams and to build your dreams. It's a fortune. Hello and welcome to the Business of Architecture UK. In this week's episode, it was quite an honor as I got the privilege to sit down with an impactful and important figure of Spanish modernism, Alberto Campo Beza, in his studio in Madrid. It's hard to tell from looking at him, but he's 75 years old and he's still producing extraordinary buildings. For example, he's currently working on the Robert Olnick Pavilion in upstate New York, as well as a number of stunning private homes around the world. Some of his notable works include the Sports Center and Lecture Hall, Francisco de Vitoria University, which is here in Madrid, which is where I'm at the moment. Um, in 2016, he completed the Domus Aurea, uh, the Draw House in Monterrey in Mexico. The Carla House in Madrid is another fabulous building and Casa del Infinito, uh, the House of Infinity in Cadiz, which is one of his most photogenic bits of work, was completed in 2015. He's also done an incredible bank corporate office headquarters in Granada, I think it was, which was just absolutely stunning. So originally from southern Spain, in the town of Cadiz, Alberto recognized that he wanted to be an architect from a very early age. He trained in Madrid, which is where he's been and focused ever since. And that's where his practice is. He's the Emeritus Head Professor of Design in Madrid in the Madrid School of Architecture in the ETSAM, uh, where he's been a tenured professor for more than 35 years. He's taught at ETH in Zurich, in EPFL in Lausanne, as well as the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, at Kansas State University. He's taught at CUA University in Washington, Le Col de Architecture in Tournai in Belgium. More recently, he has been named the Clarkson Chair in Architecture by Buffalo University and Walter Critic Speaker at the School of Architecture and Planning of CUA, the Catholic University of America in Washington. So he's got a long history in academia. He has a PhD. Um, he's given lectures all over the world and he's received uh, an enormous amount of recognition like the Taroja Award in Caja, Granada or the award of the UPM University for his excellence in teaching. In 2013, he was awarded the Henrik Tessenau Gold Medal um, and the RABA International Fellowship in 2014. The list of acknowledgements, awards, publications and lectures go on and on and on. So personally, this was a wonderful conversation, um, an opportunity to speak with an incredible architect about the challenges of running a business and producing work like he does. The interview was conducted in English as my Spanish really isn't up to par. However, we did have some help with Alfonso from Alberto's office and my partner, Yvonne, both of whom have very good grasp of Spanish and English. The YouTube version of this episode will include subtitles if you need. In the episode, we discussed balancing beauty with the business of architecture, how to listen to a client and communicate with them that architecture takes a very long time and is a serious business. And Alberto discussed with us the three pillars that he considers to being a successful architect. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Alberto Campo Piazza. One of the most difficult parts about running your architecture practice is making sure you're getting the right fee for the job. We hear small architecture firm owners ask all the time, how do I know what my competitors are charging? How do I know if I'm charging the right fees? Guesstimating fees can be very risky. If you undercharge, you get to the end of the fee and there's still more job left to do. Then you find yourself either robbing Peter to pay Paul or stealing from a more profitable project to support a less profitable project. On the flip side, you probably don't want to charge your clients more than you actually need in order to get the project done. The industry has been lacking this resource for too long. We constantly hear firm owners talk about how great it would be to have some sort of guide or comparison about what architecture firms actually charge. Is my pricing right? How do I know if it's right? They go to Google, but end up with outdated or inaccurate information, or what they find doesn't quite seem to fit the flow of their firm's specific approach or demographics. So we've decided to fix this problem ourselves and create this long overdue resource for you. Ever since we founded Business of Architecture over 10 years ago, this has been one of the most common questions we get. 
So we are really excited about this. By December of this year, we will be launching the first stage of a comprehensive architecture fee report that will reveal what architecture practices around the world are actually charging and how they set their fees. You'll get to see if others are charging a percentage of construction cost, a stipulated sum, or an hourly rate. Along with the associated amounts, based on the type of project, their geographical location, and other demographics. Now, one of the advantages of us taking this on as a consulting agency is we can actually put out this kind of information. A couple of decades ago, some may remember that the AIA got into big trouble because they published something similar. The United States Justice Department decided that this was considered price fixing, causing a monopoly, and they shut it down. But since Business of Architecture is not a membership organization and not representing architecture as a whole, we are not limited in discussing fees. Because it is our mission to help architectural practices succeed, we are very excited about gathering and providing this information to all of you in the industry. Keep an eye out in your inbox for more details coming soon. If you're not already on our email list, head over to thebusinessofarchitecture.com, sign up for our free live video training, and watch for your inbox for more details from there. Those on our mailing list will be the first to get notified when we release the architecture fee report. So if you're a small architecture practice owner, you are finally going to get to see very clearly what other similar sized firms with similar demographics and similar project types are actually charging and how they are setting their fees. This podcast is produced by Business of Architecture, a leading business consultancy for architects and design professionals. This episode is sponsored by Smart Practice, Business of Architecture's flagship program to help you structure your firm for freedom, fulfillment and financial profit. If you want access for our free training on how to do this, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you want to speak directly to one of our advisors about how he might be able to help you, Please follow the link in the information. Alberto, welcome to the Business of Architecture. Absolute honour to be here and speaking with you. How are you? The honour the honor is mine. It's a honour for me to have uh, the possibility to speak with you about the life. Fantastic. Now, obviously, you are one of the, the legends of Spanish modernism. Um, You've got an incredible career that's spanning many decades. Um, You've taught all over the world for the last 40 years or so. Here, here you're a tenured professor. You've taught in the US and Washington. You've taught in in Zurich. And you've also been running your your practice. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess the first question, and I've read some of your philosophical writings, and the conversation that we discuss here at Business of Architecture a lot is about business. And so my first question is, how do you reconcile, how do you balance business with beauty? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, When I was uh, named uh, academic at the Royal Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando de Madrid, is the Royal Spanish Academy, Academy, the most prestigious institution in Madrid, uh, receiving not only artists, but painters and artists and creators. Uh, I entitled my discourse, my my parliament, like about the beauty. And they said, ah, but beauty is important. I think uh, I am here trying to create beauty, to create beautiful architecture. Uh, I think the best way to serve the humanity, to serve the human beings, is creating beauty, creating architecture capable to contain and to or receive people to make happy people living there. Huh? Not is not an auto satisfaction. Oh, mm. oh, you are a genius. No, no, I am not a genius. I am only someone uh, with uh, my head and my heart and my many many years uh, learning and learning and learning. I continue learning. Mm. There is a beautiful 
and Grabber by Goya, Goya the Spanish painter, and it's a, it's a, a drawing with a figure of a very old man with barb and hair white and with two sticks. And Goya wrote, I am still learning. I continue learning. I continue learning. Uh, thanks God, uh, with uh, 75 years old, I continue having a clear head. It no, it's not so easy, but mm. it's a, a, a gift. Huh? And uh, I continue learning, and I try to to create beautiful, beautiful beauty, beautiful buildings. Uh, I told you about how the last, my last uh, building <coughs> will be a school in Armenia. Mm. And uh, what was my attempt? My attempt, my illusion was to make a project in front. It was a competition, huh? but I participated in this competition because the place was for me very, very moving. Was where the and the ark, the Noah's ark, was stopped, mm -hmm. and there is the Ararat mountain. And when I I read that uh, was in front of the Ararat mountain, I said, "Okay, I will study." I put all of my knowledges and uh, illusion and so on, and to create, trying to create the most beautiful school. Uh, all over the world there, and fortunately I won. But I must maybe, or, or parenthesis or addition, I must say, and I, not because I am not a humble, I am very, very vain, <laughs> but I must recognize I have more recognition, recognition that I merit. Hmm? So I try, I work Enormously, I am working and working and working, not obsessed, mm -hmm. but uh, working a lot, eh? enjoying working. But I and to, with many things, with a lot of friends, uh, with my family. I am not married, but I have uh, sisters and brother and a, a long family, very nice, and mm -hmm. I try to. To, to have a, a, a normal life. My life is um, enjoying and calm. Uh, when I say that I am just now the last period of, of time, I am saying no, 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 no mm -hmm. to interviews and so on is because I think it is, the, my life is not to, uh, uh, to be on the media. Huh? I admire the media. I think the media is uh, a, a lecture for the media is media are communication. I like to communicate. I try. I have been um, more than 40, 50 years uh, teaching. To teach is to communicate. Mm -hmm. When you are teaching, you are teaching but learning. And um, this type of questions. Huh? Yeah. How, how, when you first started your business, how is it different from what it looks like today? It's easy and difficult uh, to respond. I think business, of course, I am not, uh, I am not making charity with my uh, profession. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was demanding my uh, fees, my honoraris, honorarium, uh, uh, to the last client, uh, oh, no, the, the client for this school is a O and G, and he tried to say, oh, Alberto, maybe instead of uh, uh, the percentage that you are them are that you are demanding to us, maybe you can <laughs> cut a bit. I said, oh, 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 no, my friend, uh, charity. <laughs> I, I love charity. I try to help many people, mm. but charity is uh, after, not before. Hmm? You pay me uh, 
in, in, a, in a logical way and after if uh, it, if it is my will I will give to your O and G uh, something mm. but not before mm? uh, but business mm, architects in Spain mm, in general they are very rich people they build a lot my generation right they build build a lot and they took a lot of money a lot of money they are very very rich mm. I am not rich I have only a quantity of uh, money uh, to pay my collaborators mm -hmm. uh, my collaborators uh, uh, I, I try to pay they say Alberto you pay you pay too much to us. No, no. I am trying to be just and to make the things in in the most uh, logic possible logic way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And business. I try. I say not making charity with architecture. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, I. But in any case, I am not rich. I think uh, it's a bad. Uh, about the way to focus mm. uh, your creation to win uh, a lot of money. If, if you are in this way, it's, uh, it's not the best uh, mm. possible way. Maybe the translation. To translate, not only uh, attacking, not attacking, but commenting how in my generation many of them uh, became rich people. But in our generation, the people belonging to the star system, I don't like to pronounce any name, mm -hmm. uh, they are building and building a lot of buildings. Yeah. Uh, it's possible to create, I need time. Uh, I don't know if you cook. If you cook, you know that the rice needs 20 minutes. You cannot make a rice in 10 minutes or uh, you need an is you need time, 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 time because um, it is necessary to repose, to maturate ideas. Uh, you need to have uh, an idea with every project. I am preparing just now a class. They invited to me on September to to give a class about houses and. I am reclaiming, I will reclaim, like with my students, the new students, to have ideas. You cannot make only a formal question, it's not a formal question. The form is translating in architecture, mm. is translating an idea. The idea must be adequated and must be rational, uh, logical, um, uh, adequated economically, etc. etc. A painter mm, like this canvas can can be capricious. It's not dangerous. A painter is not dangerous. If the painter is uh, my one of my favorite uh, painters, Mar Rothko. Mm. Mar Rothko, I adore Mar the Mar Rothko pieces. Maybe my father. Uh, he can say, oh, do you like this one? Uh, yes. Uh, and what is, but what is that? Uh, and, and so on. But a painter, a muse, musician, mm -hmm. uh, a poet, uh, the creators in general are more free than me, than an architect, mm -hmm. because they can make a bad thing and it's not dangerous. They must... Invent and not dangerous. Of course, I am. I must reclaim for every creator ideas. But for an architect, it's fun. Architect is uh, making a tower. Incline it. Is not natural. Mm -hmm. It's contra natura, mm -hmm. because the gravity gravity is vertical. Mm -hmm. Only the leaves on the uh, falling from the trees are bzzz, but the things 
are heavy and mm. the gravity is the gravity. It's the gravity. The two ingredients for architecture are gravity, to control gravity and to control light. Mm. Yeah. Light and gravity. Mm. Light is creating the spaces and gravity is creating uh, the order. Mm. Gravity is creating the order. Your skeleton, your skeleton is like her skeleton or my skeleton is clear to resolve the functions. Yes. Mm -hmm. My skeleton is not making this one. No, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's making this one or this one or this one or this one. Everything. Mm -hmm. uh, business and creation. Uh, business is for an architect is dangerous if the focus is business. Mm. Mm -hmm. The focus is order, to order, to order the world. Yesterday I was in a Spanish city, very disordered, and I said, uh, the first, an architect must order the room, order where is the table, where, where are the windows, and so on. But before, <coughs> the house before the city, before the territory. Order, order, order. It's stupid if you are making a piece but forgetting the main order. The main order is the territory. Mm -hmm. When uh, the architect who decide to make Manhattan, why Manhattan is so attractive and so clear and so relaxed and so beautiful? because the general order is very well proposed. Hmm? Uh, avenues, streets, and uh, but uh, right angle, right angle, of course, gravity hmm. and right angle. Uh, you are a very classical. Yes, I am very classical. I am not making, uh, I am, my skeleton is, um, because ah, your skeleton is not original. Hmm. Yes, my skeleton is not original because it's responding to the function to, uh, to the human body to respond very well. Unfortunately, with 70 years old, I, my skeleton, he, he continues responding perfectly. Not only my skeleton, but also my head. Yeah. Some of my friends, they lost uh, their memory. Mm -hmm. The Alzheimer. Uh, you know Alzheimer's. what is Alzheimer? Sí. Alzheimer. Some of my friends they have Alzheimer. They have defects in in his uh, head, in his uh, brain, in his memory. Uh -huh. So arch and architecture keeps you keeps you clear. Yeah, of course, an architect must be a man, a creator with a clear mind. Mm -hmm. Clear mind. Ah, but you are very classical. Yes, my, I, I try my in the same way that my our skeleton must be. Classical, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, our head must be classical. Ah, but we are not original. I mean, th this architect is making a tower. Clack, 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 clack. But maybe for a painting could be good or could be. Uh, I can admit, mm -hmm. uh, but for a building, a building is is not a. A, a, a painting is not mm. a canvas. Is something trying to contain spaces to make a relation with and so on. That, how, this type of process. How, how do you help or make the client understand the architecture? Because they've got a business to run as well. They've got a budget. They've got money that needs to be spent. And sometimes they don't always understand what the architect is doing and they don't understand why it's taking so long and the client might be in a rush where are the drawings how do you how do you manage that relationship how do you mm -hmm. maintain and protect that yeah. you need time to make architecture and have the client understand without them going right goodbye no 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 <laughs> you know you know um Maybe the response could be curious. I try, <laughs> I try to fascinate the client. Mm. Mm? I try to convince. Is in this in this way is a bit like a doctor. 
a doctor. If a uh, if uh, you go to the doctor, you are not proposing the doctor the solution. No, the doctor must listen attent attentively. Uh, how 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 is your budget? How where is the house? Mm -hmm. uh, how what is the program? If you are making the client is demanding a house, it's not the same a house for. Uh, a client living alone, mm? Mm -hmm. only one people. Mm? I try. I remember when I made a house on the top of a hill with uh, a, a boxing concrete and on the top a boxing glass. Very simple. It, it was because the client was alone. Mm? Uh, right. But uh, on the opposite, when I made the, it was the house, the, the blast house. When I was making the last uh, very well known now house is the infinite, the house of the infinite. The problem was with a family with a lot of people, with many children and many uh, invites and uh, guest guest people, and uh, was. You must study, you must listen to the client, the program, the function. Mm -hmm. You must listen to the place. The place. The fair house was on the top of a hill. The house of the infinite was. Could you imagine that I received the commission to make a house for the a very rich man in Brussels, mm -hmm. living in Brussels, his wife uh, is an architect, she is an architect, and they bought uh, a, 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 a plot in, in Tarifa, very close to Gibraltar, mm -hmm. very close in, in an area, but on the border of the sea, the ocean, was that in front is Africa. And um, th this line, it is... It, just now it's not permitted to to go until this line but because they bought the plot with a no old house uh, you must eliminate the old house and to go until where the old house was and well, that, that's okay and after okay uh, a big house enormous house okay but in a step of of making a, the house was looking at the ocean with the infinite line of the horizon there. Mm. It is because I named it the house of the infinite. And the, uh, the weather there is very good. They are uh, open air every, every second. And I said, yeah, this one is like, like a boat. Uh, I go to make a terrace, but the terrace, no, not a basement and after a, a glass house like the first, but in this case, only a basement, mm -hmm. in the basement, um, bathrooms, and blah, 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 the, the complete program. Uh, on the top was clean, uh, a, a plan, a clean plan, horizontal plan, looking bad. It, this project is possible in Madrid? No, it will be stupid in Madrid or yeah. in New York because the weather, it, it is snowing, it is raining, it is not. But there, it's like a boat mm. on, on the border of the sea. And, okay. And because I remember one day, uh, she, because she is, you are demanding about the client, she was, uh, I, I thought they came to to commission me this one because they knew my white houses uh, in the south mm -hmm. of, uh, of Spain. And she, she, she thought, oh, maybe Alberto is capable to make uh, for us a white house, um, Andalusian. And, and when I was proposing a completely different uh, way of life and this plan and so on, in one moment she said, ah, okay, okay. I convinced uh, her 
And in one moment she said, Ah, maybe in green marble. I, I, after I knew that she was demanding green marble because a very, another architect very close to her, that he was jealous because it uh, was me and not him, the, the architect, he is using always green marble. And I said, no, no. Why, Alberto? Yeah. One thing. I need a stone capable to be the same color like the sand. And the, this, this basement enormous block is um, against the earth mm -hmm. and bed is like made with, with sand. On the other hand, in that territory was like uh, Hercules, was an area of Cadiz Uh, where the Romans were. And I made this house in with Roman travertine. Mm -hmm. Roman travertine with onyx uh, points in such a way that was very like 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 uh, sand, more or less. And the result, I am very happy. Mm. You know, the images of the... Uh, Alfonso... Yeah. ¿Te puedes traer un momentito una V con el, la Casa del Infinito en la portada, por favor? Gracias. And this type of things. It is necessary to convince the client, but not to make you caprice. No. Mm. It's listen. Gracias. Trátelo por acá. Anda. It's this house. Mm. Nice project. Stunning. Yeah, and it's in front of the of the ocean, on the border, border, and the dune, and the sun, the tra Roman travertin, and no more, no more on the top. Ah, oh, Alberto, it's, it's like this, but they are very happy. And it's because I return, I come back to the, to the beginning, mm. is uh, you must listen attentively, listen the program by the client. Listen the money by the client. Mm -hmm. Listen the place. What is giving the place? You can make mayonnaise to make mayonnaise mm -hmm. sauce. You need eggs. <laughs> you cannot make mayonnaise with uh, saucisson. Huh? <laughs> Ingredients. Ingredients you must study the place, the locus. Using classical word, locus, Latin words, locus. Mm -hmm. huh? Locus must be studied. Uh, and pa, 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 and after, uh, for that, your question before, uh, business, time, I am defending, you need a lot of time, mm. a lot of time to maturate this idea, to maturate, to convince the client after listening, because you are giving, like a doctor, mm. the solution for, for them, this yeah. type of question. Because it, it's, it's amazing, because this, I mean, Building and designing a regular building is difficult. Doing something like this is, is extraordinary. I know. <laughs> I know. But I know. But, 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 at, attenzione. Attention. Eh? Uh, attenzione is my Italian students. Uh, I try not only to convince my clients, but to convince my Um, my students mm -hmm. that to make this one it is not reserved to genius to genial people <gasps> oh uh, only uh, uh, star system mm? no no it is possible to be to become a very good doctor mm -hmm. you must study a lot and you must dedicate a lot of time my father was a, a doctor And I remember he died with 104 years. And I remember until the last moment he was always studying, studying. And I remember when I was a, a child or not so child, I said, why my father? He continues studying. We must continue studying, reading uh, with, with, with our head Mm. Mm, 
running and okay it's possible you must make on the other hand i must add another comment this one is not only the the place is wonderful the house is understanding the place perfectly mm -hmm. and it's like a boat in front of the sea and africa is there and pa pa pa, pa. but also at this moment with this picture on the top is this a picture taken by a very good photographer i need so if you are creating or maybe i can make another type of comment a bath architect with a good photographer a bath actress with a good uh, director hmm? Mm, it's an hypocrite, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. Mm. Eh? But a good architect with a bad photographer is a stupid. <laughs> eh? I try to be a good architect with a very good photographer. Eh? Yeah. Communication to communicate. It is because when you are working with YouTube, it's important YouTube is one of the most important media just mm -hmm. now uh, to communicate, of course. Uh, I have not mobile. I don't need mobile because I have all of my friends and mm -hmm. they have mobile. I don't have a TV, a TV set in, in my house, mm -hmm. in my apartment. It's possible to, to, to live without watch without uh, mobile, without TV, without car, mm. it's possible. But if you are a creator, you cannot uh, ignore that communication is necessary. Uh, and you could be communicate without mobile, yes. I use the, the other mobiles. Uh, <laughs> could you be communicated um, if you have no TV set? No, I have uh, very good friends. It was very funny. Yesterday, I received some a calling from some friends and my sisters that they, they listen uh, a speaker on the radio. I was uh, working here with classical music. And at the same time, at noon, at 12 o'clock, uh, uh, a speaker on the radio, he said, oh, the, the, the subject was uh, why just now people are not writing uh, letters or cards by hand. Mm -hmm. And the speaker said, oh, yes, it's important, Papa, defending the importance. And he said, oh, my friend Alberto Campo Baeza, he's sending to me every month one card with uh, some letters written, handwritten, eh? and if he's in New York, he's sending to me a car, and if he's in, in Kenya, he's sending to me a car, and so, of course, I continue to communicate. Mm. It's to, to underline the importance of to communicate and to try, and the medium to communicate the best. Yeah. You, know? you must use the best photographer, the best collaborators, the best people collaborating with me. Mm -hmm. It's not Alfonso plus two more, no more than three. We are here, three, no more. Three people? Three people, no more. Wow. But I always defend that they are much better than me. Hmm? It's the secret. Amazing. Ha oh. has, your, has your office always been that size? This one? No, yeah. but just now because we are on holidays and they are pa 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 pa. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so how do these kind of clients? How do they find you, or how do you find them? It's uh, like the life. It's very curious. <laughs> this client is they they wrote one day, and I I, I you, you you don't know if. If it's serious or not serious, or eh? because sometimes the client disappear, mm -hmm. or a first uh, interview, you can convince or not. They, eh? it's, it's very peculiar. Mm -hmm. Or I remember 
When I, I made a house in Garrison, Garrison, New York, eh? right. uh, in front of uh, West Point. Oh. It's in front of the, in the state of the Atlantic Ocean, there is the Hudson River, where the Hudson River is standing, and is uh, West Point in front of. Eh? And the clients are also very rich people, very, mm -hmm. very rich people and very nice. Mm -hmm. They just now they are very friendly. Eh? And maybe you, you could remember Massimo Vignelli. Mm -hmm. Massimo Vignelli was uh, an architect living in New York, and he was the graphic designer. He created the design for the Helvetica, Helvetica letter. Okay. It's by him, and he was very famous and very nice and very good people, very, very good people. I had, by fortune, one more time, reconnaissance, uh, I have, I had uh, an exhibition on my work in the urban center. The urban, urban center mm -hmm. was uh, where the Lincoln Center, but just now, after disappeared. And when the inauguration was uh, Massimo Vignelli, and he said, Alberto, I go to introduce to you this couple uh, Nancy and Giorgio, and you go to make a house for them. <laughs> so, clients are coming, or, or a competition, Armenia, mm -hmm. or a uh, baba, or, or someone good people in New York. How, how do you know when to say no to a client? I never know, because the last house that I finished in Madrid, uh, Maybe, I don't know if I must make this type of comment. Uh, he was very convinced. She was always attacking me mm -hmm. and was an adventure very, very difficult. But finally, the house is, was built, this one. Uh, maybe, I don't know, it's okay. Okay, it's this one. Beautiful. This one is uh, outside uh, of Madrid. It was is the the Rotonda House with uh, a test by Kenneth Frampton, very generous. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Frampton with me, and this house was funny because she was protesting because they, she said, "Oh, the the other people are looking me, looking at me when I I am here." So, on the ground floor, like the other houses, it's impossible to to see anything. This one is a hill. On the top of the hill, on the ground floor, it's impossible to see this one. But when you are pop, 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 going up on the top, you can dominate. In this picture, it's impossible to see. You can dominate the the complete circle. Mm -hmm. You can dominate the mountains, you can dominate the city with the towers, you can, everything. It's, it's fantastic. <clears throat> you, when are, you are on the ground floor, it's impossible. Only like an architect, you must, uh, I, I contract some drones, drones, and this, Clack, clack, and from here, uh, go, go to make the house uh, accomplish, accomplishing the norms and the laws uh, until the top. Mm? Yeah. In the same way that here was on the opposite, was against the, the, the earth, the house was against the earth. Clack, yeah. Mm -hmm. and never, never, never. <laughs> Architecture is mustn't be capricious, must be uh, serious. Serious architecture must be serious, not boring, mm -hmm. but serious. Mm? Like the life. You can have in front of you or with you someone marvelous, so a marvelous person. Uh, and but she, she must be trustable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Serious, trustable, <laughs> not boring. 
smiling. She mustn't lose her smile. Never. <laughs> so, w when you're, when you were younger as an architect, did you have the same kind of clients, or what? What kind of? No, again, I must recognize that the the first time I made a house, the client was also. He was a friend. They were friends of my brother or my sister, mm -hmm. or the director of the bank where I put my my account. And the the clients are coming in the in a, in, a, in very very peculiar ways. But in many times in my life, I must say that I fortunate because, for example, uh, this one was a client in Cadiz because. This one was a friend, the, the cubicle house, but the Gaspar house, uh, he came one day in Cadiz. Uh, this one is very, very, not no rich, not poor, but not rich. Mm -hmm. And he said, Alberto, I have only a few money, and I like to make a house, and this house, that is one of my famous houses, the Gaspar house, And after was very clear, very classical. He was like an Andalusian house, a patio, the house, another patio, a patio in the front, a patio on the back, and pa 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 pa. And very simple, very, uh, and very very cheap, very 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 cheap. But after, why was so famous? Not only because the contain the house is beautiful, but also because at that. At this moment, I had a very good photographer, Japanese photographer, Isao Suzuki, that he was capable to translate this one. This one was a competition, a competition for make a bank. And, but, for example, this, this space is so beautiful, and this competition. I won the competition, and six years they were on silence. Wow. Disappeared because the director, the new director after the competition, he said, it's not convenient for the bank to build a building so big. Fortunately, after six years, they change of director. Mm -hmm. And the new director, he says, he said, oh no, on the opposite, we need to build the, and he was the guilty. In, It was, and we used six years on silence and six years to finish this one. And it's the, it's the biggest building that I made. I am very happy. It's the bank in Granada. So it was uh, a Zamora. This beautiful building was another competition. So I, I was so fortunate that I won many competitions. Yeah. With a project like that, the bank, That's obviously a, a very different scale from houses and a very different type of client. Did you have to change how you worked? No. With, no. no. Of course, I needed uh, to contract more people yep. working with me to develop. Uh, uh, but more people is uh, two or three people more, mm -hmm. no, no 100. Uh, <laughs> and um, evidently, is. We said the order well, at the beginning. We we I spoke about the territory, the city, the house, the bathroom to order. Mm -hmm. Evidently, the bank, this big bank in Granada, the scale is completely different. Mm -hmm. But I know you must when you are studying and you are uh, maturing and web blah, 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 one of the uh, mechanisms. Uh, used by Arcdet is the scale. You must dominate the scale. It's not the same to make a little house, like the Gaspar house, like to make a big bank. You must, in your head, is not for Cervantes. Cervantes, it wasn't the same to write Don Quixote de la Mancha mm -hmm. than to write uh, some poems. Mm -hmm. He need to dominate different scales of yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Did the did the client, because this was a, this was a competition that you won to win the bank project, did because nowadays with larger offices 
the client sees they have all these checks for the architect. You must be this big. You must have this insurance. Yeah. Um, it's not usual or maybe it's very curious. Uh, some clients for houses were more difficult than the client for for the big bank. Eh? Maybe okay, many complicated stories that I prefer don't don't repeat here, but the the conclusion was mm. for me was easier the client for the bank than the client for some house. Mm? Interesting. You but you you must have a uh, but in any case, in the same way that I said that I have more recognition that I merit, in the same way I must recognize that for me has been very, very useful to be a professor. Mm -hmm. uh, when I have in front of me young people, values young people, my comment is please continue working and teaching the balance because when you are teaching you must have your your head your brain must be completely intention mm -hmm. no you must be uh, uh, no 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 you must be awake awake and uh, clear and to teach is a very good way to have uh, the best possible balance to make the best possible architecture, mm -hmm. to teach, to build, and to write. I say it, and to write, and to write is also to have an activity in mm. your brain, not only teaching, r reading, writing, and building. The three, three, three that you tripod <laughs> to be stable, at least. The minimum is are three three legs. Mm? How how much time do you spend teaching? I was teaching. Uh, I remember when I finished. I finished with a very good expedient and so on. Blah 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 blah. But my best first and best master Alejandro de la Sota. Alejandro de la Sota was a Spanish master, very good, very good. And I was so fortunate that. At the beginning, beginning of the school, I was he was my first master, and he transmitted me many things. When I finish, I was speak. I continue speaking with him many times, and he said, "Alberto, you must be teaching." But first of all, five years stop. No, no teaching. Five years building after to teach and to build. Hmm. I obey. I was and I am very obedient, and uh, I, I I I made like this one. So the eighties, I I first my fair house for a friend of my brother and some papa 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 papa. Pa, pa. So I am teaching from the beginning, mm -hmm. and I continue teaching because uh, legally uh, in Spain at seventy you must cut jubilee. Hmm? Jubilee? Hmm? Uh, it's uh, retired. Retired. Hmm? But the laws permit three more years teaching. Uh, the dean gave me the, the permission. Mm -hmm. I was teaching three years more. And when I finished, I was contracted by New York NYIT to teach last year. Right. And just now, this year, I am uh, with many offers. But I try to become and to think about mm. because I continue having all of my interest in continue to con continue teaching, mm -hmm. but no in every way. But mm? do do you run your your studio here like a design studio, like a unit, or like like your teaching? No. No, no, I never, I never mix, right. uh, the studio with the school. Mm? Okay, so you don't have, you don't have students come and work for you. No, but uh, no, I, I, I lie. Uh, every year I have a, a, a interns. Uh, hmm? Interns. 
and uh, it's coming yeah. six months or nine months it depends and the nurse is coming he said to me that in the state of September please Alberto I will go on January okay yeah. Yeah. but it's the only mix no, mm. no more mix mm. to my usual students I never take them here to my office mm -hmm. only when they are coming from or from Kenya, or from India, or from New York. They are a group of students that are with his prof their professor, and they came to Madrid, oh, Alberto, we would like to see your office. Okay, they come, and they say, oh, only, only three people. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing that you've got such a legacy with, with such a small team. How do you, how do you find the right people to work with? Sometimes I said to someone bye bye. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, one month ago, I took one. She was very nice, very nice, and but very, very, very. And I said no, no, no. Bye bye. How <gasps> Bye bye. And it was a good decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But difficult sometimes. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I try to the the the, the usual uh, uh, way of life is uh, where they are very nice people. Mm -hmm. the, but if someone is, um, um, I, I had, how uh, the, the son of. Uh, Nephew, I had a nephew working with me, <laughs> and he was every day instead of being here at nine o'clock in the morning, he was coming eleven, twelve, and da 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 da. One year, one year and a half. At, at the end, I said, "My dear, bye bye bye." Yeah, doesn't doesn't work. In the life, uh, you must be clear. Mm -hmm. And and do you have you have people work with you for? Long periods of time, or you see, sí, no, uh, Alfonso. Alfonso, he came como becario, mm? como in an in intern, yeah. mm -hmm. and after he went uh, to his uh, city, Sevilla. But after his wife was, uh, because a question of war, he was destined here to mm -hmm. Madrid. And I said, okay, come, come with us. Mm -hmm. And he, he remained. Alejandro, 15 years, 15 years ago, and Ignacio, 30 years ago. So wow, okay. They, a lot of time, and I can trust them. What's the secret, if you like, to practicing for into your late in life? How do you keep how do you keep a practice running for so long? What is the secret? Yeah. I, I said that I, I, I told you before to work, to work, to work, to work a lot. To work and not being dominated by work. Mm -hmm. You must control. Mm -hmm. And you must say yes or not, it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, I had never the uh, the situation that if I had a lot of work, different work offer people offering me works and to say no because I have too much work. Fortunately, the the destiny was uh, came in in a natural way and in the same way that uh, the project in Mexico, the project in in Canary Island, the project in our stop because different questions and mm. it, it is because I can, it is because I participate in a competition, the Armenian, and I won, I participate in another competition and I lost and, and so on. In, in a natural way that mm. Do you, do you think you'll ever stop? 
or you will retire or you want to I keep hope, going? Uh, I see my father was working until 90 or 10 or 100. Mm? Mm. He was receiving people like a doctor. Huh? Mm. I have no idea to be retired. Mm -hmm. mm? In, in fact, uh, the laws, uh, they said to stop when you are retired. But uh, two years ago, the, politi the politics in Spain, they permit to have work. And of course, they take uh, a percentage. Right. And they said, if you continue working, I continue <laughs> <laughs> taking money from you. <laughs> Keep paying your taxes, uh, then be happy. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Yeah. I prefer don't 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 think about taxes. <laughs> Fantastic. But it's it's much better to speak about beauty. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. So what what's what's in store for the rest of twenty twenty two and for next year, for the immediate future? What? What's in store? What are you doing for the next few years? What's next? The next was, I, I hope, maybe to teach in New York. Mm -hmm. I don't know, via Zoom, because the NYIT was via Zoom. Yep. Or, or to teach in New York, or to teach in Madrid, to teach in Madrid. If, uh, I am trying to create a connection uh, the School of Architecture in Madrid, my school, mm -hmm. was uh, um, was at the beginning, beginning in the in the last century, was uh, a, a daughter daughter of the Royal Academy, and because I am just now I am academic, mm -hmm. I try to create a, a, a possibility to give classes of architecture in the academy, like to recuperate this old time. If this one is, uh, is possible, mm -hmm. I will teach because it could be very interesting in English mm -hmm. uh, to have a student from all over the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. amazing. Um, in a step of, but with legal uh, uh, Va valu valuable in the legal process. So, one student can complete uh, his studies in architecture in the academy with my classes. And the, the state officially recognized, like if it were uh, in, the, in the school. Oh, wow. Uh, so they can be qualified. Or, or this one, or New York. Yeah. At this moment in New York has been named for just four days ago, mm -hmm. only four days ago, the 18 uh, Spanish who was my student, Dean in Columbia. Andres Jaque, the new Dean at Columbia University, was my student. Wow. And it's very satisfying. Very proud. Amazing. Well, Alberto, thank you. And it's the perfect place to conclude the conversation. Thank you so much thank you. for sharing your wisdom and experience thank you. here. No, it's uh, because you, both of you, uh, has been very relaxed and very comfortable. And I would like to, to add or to finish maybe repeating that, because you are an architect, uh, that our labor may be sure for me. Mm -hmm. is the most beautiful labor all over the world. Mm. You can dream, have dreams and to build, to build your dreams is mm, a fortune. Mm. And I am completely fortunate. I have no more than motives to, to say thanks to God mm -hmm. because uh, uh, it was a very nice... Uh, expression in Latin is sub umbra alarum tuarum, under the shadow of your ails, I am protected. Mm -hmm. I am very protected. Beautiful. I am not more than motive to say thanks, thanks to you, to you, 
to my collaborators and basically to God. Beautiful. Thank you very much. And that's a wrap. And don't forget, if you want to access your free training to learn how to structure your firm or practice for freedom, fulfillment and profit, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you'd like to speak to one of our advisors directly, follow the link in the information. The views expressed on this show by my guests do not represent those of the host and I make no representation, promise, guarantee, pledge, warranty, contract bond or commitment except to help you be unstoppable.